Hello, I am Cat Woods. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a new and exciting DIY, I guess you can kind of say. So I do a lot of writing in my Bibles. For any of you know, um, know me, know that I enjoy just marking up my Bibles, really just being active with my Bibles. So, and what I've noticed when I write, I write really small, but I have a heavy hand. So when you have a heavy hand, you typically um, imprint the page behind it. Not only the page behind it, but the next page too. So um, it didn't bug me and it really doesn't bug me. But I wanted, I don't know where it came up at. It literally popped in my head 7 o'clock in the morning. I had to write it quickly on a post-it note so when I woke up like I would <laughs> I would fully remember what I wanted to do so in my head I was thinking when we like plant planter babes we all know and I could actually say like in our Bibles okay so when we're in our Bibles we use tags post-it notes stuff like that so we keep them already in, in our Bibles all right we keep our flags back here sometimes we put um, like posty notes like my posty notes will be in here like using up the maps because I don't always use my maps so I'll just use my maps for like um, a posty note holder type deal and then sometimes I just keep it like on the actual Bible itself I don't think any of yeah here's one too all right so let me show you an example of what I mean sorry stop we can't have wet noses on there of what I mean when it came came to imprinting on on the actual Bible all right so I'm gonna take you off of here for a minute so this is the back of the page and I don't know if you can really really tell I mean you can see like the writing that's not what I'm talking about all right it is the actual groove, um, the texture. You can tell that I have written on the previous page. Oh, you won't be able to see it. But but it's there, all right? It's there. It really does not bug me, but some people it does. I've seen um, people create posts asking how do they stop that? Um, is it the pen? Is it the person itself? Like people, um, they're really, you know, concerned about it. So. You all, I have a way to stop it. A way where we can keep everything together. And, okay, I, I don't, I'm just going to stop. All right. Let's create dashboards. It's a bookmarker and a dashboard all together. Really? Why hasn't this been done before? Why hasn't somebody thought about this? I mean, you can kind of call, call these little, I guess... I thought I had one in the front. Sometimes I put it in the front. You can kind of call this a dashboard because it's at the beginning or the end of your Bible, wherever it is. This is this is typically a dashboard. But look what I have done. And on this one, you this is like real leather, so you can't really stick anything on here. So <laughs> I have created, check this out, a dashboard. I put whatever posty notes, the size that I wanted, um, whatever color, if there's like a certain theme, whatever color flags that I wanted to use, I make sure I have some that I'm able to write on. And these big ones you can also write on too. Uh, yeah, so so this is just regular, um, I think it's called, it starts with the, with an A. It's not vellum or any anything, but uh all my crafty girls you all know know what this stuff is so it is real thin it's real floppy but it's still sturdy enough all right so it holds all your flags it holds your posty notes and you turn it around and this is like a table like a desk stop it like a desk for your um, when you're writing the notes so okay so say right here I'm going to need to underline write some notes and stuff this isn't a real good one because I used my post-it note there. All right, this one right here. So I'm going to 
put my dashboard, which is also a bookmarker. You can use it as a bookmarker. Lay it down. And then it's smooth. It's smooth for writing. Make sure you don't use anything that has texture. So if you are using this and you go to write on it, like you're going to use this as a, there we go, as, as one of a dashboard, you can put the posty notes and stuff on the texture part. But, oh, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, so all these grooves, having a pin right over that will be super, super annoying. So I would not suggest anything that has texture. I mean, if you're not going to use it for writing, then yeah, if it's for a purdy, then go ahead. This is completely smooth, so something like this you can use. What you're going to need to do is to measure it to the size of your Bible. Um, you can have it a little bit bigger. These little things are like illustrated faith little vellum sheets. You can use this. You can keep it uh, as big as you want. I like it literally the size of the page. So it is hidden because if it's all right, so say we have it super big, all right, and then we go off and we put our tags on here with it being bigger than the actual page itself. Look how much of it already hangs out. That will drive me bonkers. I like the nice clean look. So you just, if you want to measure out whatever Bible size that you have, it could be a mini, regular study, it does not matter. Just make sure the sheet is as long as the Bible. Get a black sharp, Sharpie and then just trace it out. Cut it out and then bam, super, super easy. Then after you cut it out, you can decorate it like I did. I just added a little sheet of washi. You don't really need to do that. Now be careful. You don't write on the washi because you will have this line of like um, transfer for your notes. So start your notes underneath it so you're not going to have this little line here. And then again, if you're underlining, you're going to have that little note um, line. So, okay. So here is my other one that I did. You see how it's all just lined up perfectly with the Bible. The only thing you see are the flags. And this is just with like this, I think it's called, as oh, what is this called? I was going to say acetone, but acetone is not it. Um, acetate, maybe? I don't know. It's really, it's irking me. I wish I knew what that was. But yeah, I've had these sheets of paper. They come 12 by 12 size. And I just, I cut it down. And I put some washi, um, not washi tape, posting notes that I want. And I've created a dashboard. So I can not only keep it in the front of my Bible, I can move it from different Bibles as long as it's the same size. I can move it throughout my whole Bible. Um, I got one for a New Testament and then one for the Old Testament. If you have two, you can have two different sizes of post-it notes on them. So one's a little mini, one's the larger ones. Um, I wouldn't recommend putting both notes on both sides. You can do that if you're not going to use it as, as a table to write on. But using these, it will literally stop the imprinting on the back page. I was like, oh. now there are Bible maps. Illustrated Faith does create um, actual Bible maps like this. Like, you can literally use it for, uh, it's it's a crafting mat. It's just made for crafting. It stops your paints. And it has, it's for the same concept. So, say we're coming in here. We're going to use paints and washi colors and or color paints, watercolor. There we go. And we're just, we don't want to get it on the rest of our Bible. This is a, a protective thing. But never have I thought to use something like this and nobody else. I mean, this is this definitely needs to be shared. <laughs> Let's use this for our note writing. It does get a little bit um, like getting used to because you do have to slide something underneath. It is an extra step that you have to do. So depending on how tired you are or if it's early in the morning you will have to do an extra step of putting a piece of 
um, plastic, you know, whatever you want underneath the paper that you're going to write on. But the outcome, it's so, 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 so worth it. You will flip through the page and not see your imprints of your previous notes. So I was like, oh, I can't wait. I'm going to make a couple of them so I can share with my girls. Okay, so look, this is the note right here on this page. And typically you would see, what, four or five lines here? You would see four or five lines of writing on this page over here, just in print. And there's nothing, including on the page behind it. I mean, you can see where I've written with the pen, but you can't see no imprint. It is so smooth. So if I go to write right behind it, there's like, it, it's, wait, wait until you try it. You're going to be in awe and super curious why this hasn't been shared before. So, um, I shared those. Oh, I don't know where this went to. Sorry, stop. I shared the illustrated map and the vellum paper. Um, you can get these 12 by 12 sheets of like whatever paper that is. You can get cardstock packs. They can you can buy them at Michaels, Hobby Lobbies, just wherever. Um, the paper it's nice and thick, so that's what you need. You need something that's going to be thick and just you have to have support on the page. You can't have it all floppy. So what that's this is with one of these 12 by 12 sheets over here. It's just I cut it out um, and it could fit any Bible. Now, if you do have a mini size that you want, you don't want the full page of it. You can own, you can create it small enough to where it just has to be in the margin. So let's say we want to make like a little note because this is just holding just the bare, small, minimal notes. I can use this size of a Bible dashboard. This is what I'm going to call this now. These are my Bible dashboards. Um, I can take my mini Bible dashboard here. My post note was getting stuck. All right. And I can write. I can write as long as this card is. And then if I want to write even more, it'd take nothing just to slide it down and continue on writing. So you can literally make it bookmarker size if you don't use a lot of posty notes and decorate it with posty notes, the tabs that you want. Um, I don't, you don't have to be going out and getting all kinds of new supplies. Use whatever you have on hand. I guarantee you have maybe a gift card. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, so you can use cards, actual like gift cards that are gifted to you. You can cut it down in the middle so you're just using one side of the page and then that's the perfect size. You could put your flags on here and your posting notes on the inside. So use whatever you have on hand. Don't go out and buy a certain pad of paper, um, certain kind of vellum. Um, even, here we go, here we go, here we go. Even trash. You can save trash, okay? You can use trash. So this is why I'm saying don't go out and buy. I don't know why that ripped like that. <laughs> You know, don't buy anything. Use whatever you have at the house. So this right here, this is a rub-on. Stickers come like, like this too. So this right here is too floppy. It's You can't do anything with this. This won't be supportive at all. I mean, it might be to write on, but it won't support posty notes. And so no, this will be garbage. But this cardboard... You can totally use it. You can decorate it with however you want. Just leave one side blank so you can write on it. You won't have no kind of transfer or different, um, you know, stickers and post-it notes. You can use on rub-ons. They have this plastic sheet, which the rub-on is off. Once you get this rub off, you rub off the rub-on. <laughs> it will become blank, and it's just a plain vellum sheet. You can even use that, um, I think. It does feel pretty thin, but it still feels like it is some kind of support there. Okay, so use whatever you have on hand. 
cut it down to size, keep it the same size, whatever, however you want to do it. Um, but yeah, I totally, I had to come here and share it with you. I have been making different ones for the past couple of, I'm not going to fight this right now, <laughs> past couple of days and I, I wanted to show you. So I showed you the two that I have in this one, that's my daily driver. I showed you the new little mini one here that I used with cardstock. These ones are just to show you different examples. These are what the plain little papers look like. And you can just, these were just scraps. These are scraps from the big ones. So I can, these are just little minis that I can use for little mini Bibles. They would be the perfect size. Look at that. Literally the perfect size. So they can be a little mini. So save your scraps too. Even though you cut out your big normal ones that you want. If you have a couple of minis, use those scrap and make little mini mini dashboards. I'm saying mini mini because this is like a medium size. That's a mini, but this is a mini mini. <laughs> Alright, so we got these. I showed you those. And then, oh yeah, and the flags that I use, you can get a bunch of them off of Amazon, just regular, regular flags, and then the posting note flags. So you get the ones that are writable, and then just the regular, the regular colored ones. I, I love the posting note ones. And you may be noticing my posting notes look different than what they normally come out. I have an OCD problem, so I cut off the extra and it takes me time this is very very time consuming but this extra white film on it I will cut all that out I just like the look of just the tags so you can kind of see it where where it's cut off like this one right here so yeah <laughs> so I made my PSQ let me go ahead and quickly share this because I'm at the end but I was like, yes, the dashboard, that is perfect. Got all my little kitties. Sherry made me that. And then this one is for my PSQ. I added little washi strips. And then it's completely clean on the back. Oh yeah, I have my word of the year. So you can do that too. If you have like a certain study that you want to remember, maybe the next day that you want to focus on for a week, put like a little post note that is writable. Write your little note down there. Um, I've used it that uh, quite a few times. That's the clean one. Where's the other one? I've had so many different ones. I put on read this on this one, but I had one where I had like Matthew and the verses and all that, but I don't know where I put that at. But yeah, so you could totally just whatever sub book that you're working on, verse that you're working on, put it on here. And then when you want to come back to it, you will remember. Yeah, right there. That's the post-it note that I wrote right in the morning. So when I woke up, I wouldn't forget like, hey, don't forget, take care of or figure out how to do the dashboard because I didn't have any videos there was no videos that I can just type up Bible dashboard and a bunch of videos popped up there was nothing on this just like the Bible garden um, the Lord would just lay certain things on my heart in my head and I'm like wow that's a great idea and of course as soon as I get those ideas I come straight to you all as soon as I have it laid out as soon as I figured it out <laughs> it did take me quite a few times to to figure it out because when I first did this my first mistake was put the beautiful stuff up front so you want to see the beautiful stuff but when you flipped it over you got all this you know you're looking at the not beautiful stuff so I figured cover up the not beautiful side so when you flipped it over you had the beautiful side so, yeah, where's the big one to this one? Oh, it's in my Humble Lamb Bible. There it is. That's probably the one that has the Matthew study. 
I have the bigger full sheet, and that's in my Humble Lamb Bible. So yeah, I did one for my Humble Lamb. I have one of each size, a large one, a medium one, and a small one. But, yeah, so I had to come here and share. If you do have any questions for me, leave them in the comments. I love, love communicating with you all. And, um, yeah, so I'm doing my best to get more videos out to you. I just, I don't want to keep repeating, like, the same repetitive, just boring um, videos. So I want to just try to keep coming up with ideas. Lord, keep giving them to me, and I'll keep sharing them. <laughs> I can't always come up with new ideas. It's just... I wish it happened like that, but it just, it doesn't. So, um, whenever they come up, I will be here, the first ones to share you. So, if you do try this out, let me know too. Um, my sisters in our sister's creative journey with Cat Woods, make sure you follow me on Facebook there and on Instagram. We always are showing each other what we're doing, encouraging each other to push forward, Right now, we're reading the Bible in chronological order. A lot of us. There are tons of us in there. I'm so, so excited to see this. So, yeah, this word can really, really help us on this journey. So, okay. I love you all. Remember, be a creative tool in our Father's Art Box. I'll talk to y'all later.